OpenAI has just released ChatGPT Plus, which brings Dolly into your ChatGPT and creates a whole new way to think about AI art generation. And I wanna show it to you right now. The first thing to know before we get into Dolly is that ChatGPT Plus is a paid version of ChatGPT. It runs $20 per month and it brings in a lot of new features into ChatGPT. Now, I'm not gonna be able to go into all those in this video, but one of the things it can do is you can now use Dolly, which is an image generation tool inside ChatGPT, which is kind of a game changer. Inside your ChatGPT account, if you're on the free version, you're gonna be seeing GPT 3.5. And if you click this drop down, there should be an option there to upgrade to ChatGPT Plus. This will allow you to use ChatGPT 4 and also allow you to integrate some of these other apps like Dolly. Now, when I actually went to upgrade, it put me onto a wait list. So depending on when you're watching this, it might put you on a wait list. You'll just have to wait until they give you that access. But my hope is that very, very soon, everyone will just be able to upgrade for $20 a month to ChatGPT Plus. Once you've got the upgrade, if you click on the Explore button over here on the left, it's going to have a bunch of different uh, apps that you can load into your ChatGPT. And my expectation is that there's gonna be a lot of developers putting new apps in here that are gonna do pretty incredible things. But for now, we're just gonna click on the Dolly option and add that into our ChatGPT account. So once we've got Dolly loaded in, now we can actually create AI art inside ChatGPT. Now at first glance, you might be thinking, why is this so revolutionary to have Dolly inside ChatGPT? You may already be using Midjourney, you may already be using Ideogram or Leonardo, and you like those tools. And I'm in the same boat, I really like those tools. So I wasn't looking for a new AI art generation tool. But then as I started to use it, I realized why it's so crazy. And the reason is, is because now, hey, by the way, could you use some help with your AI prompts to get more styles and more variations of your designs? If so, I wanna give you my free AI style prompt guide over at carryegler.com slash prompts. It has 171 different words you can use in your prompts in most any AI art generation tool just to get better and more creative art. So you can download that again over at carryegler.com slash prompts. Thanks so much and back to the video. I realized why it's so crazy. And the reason is, is because now, instead of just telling it a prompt and getting out a piece of AI art, you can actually have a conversation with the AI art generation tool as you would with a graphic designer. So when you're working with a graphic designer, they might send you a piece of art and you might say, hey, I like that, but could you make it a little brighter or could you change the colors a little bit or could you edit this part and change it, right? You would go back and forth and make changes. Well, now working with Dolly inside ChatGPT, you would talk to Dolly the same way that you would talk to a graphic designer. So let me show you how this works. So I'm gonna do this with some very simple prompts. I'm gonna say, show me a picture of a tiger roaring with thick black outlines. Let's just see what it comes up with if we put in that. So you can see Dolly says creating image and we just have to wait just a second here for it to pop out that image. Okay, so we've got the images from Dolly. Now it's created two images for us here and these look pretty cool. I think Dolly's come a long way in making their images a lot better, but these look pretty cool. But what if it's not exactly what I'm looking for? So one thing I'm noticing here is that the tiger is sideways in both of these pictures. So as I would with a graphic designer, I would go back and say, can you change this? Can you make the tiger face, you know, face forward? Now, if we were working in another software like Midjourney or, or another one, we would just have to redo the prompt and try to edit it to see if we could get what we need. But here we can just say, can you make the tiger face forward? and see if it can fix it for us. So after waiting just a few seconds, now we have the tiger actually facing forward, which is pretty cool, right? It's changed the image for us. Now we can take this a step further. Let's see if we can have it change the color scheme. So let's put in, can you change the tiger's colors to blue and yellow and make the background white? Let's see what it does. 
All right, so you can see it's making the changes that we need, especially the second one here. We ask it for uh, blue and yellow tiger and then with the background white, and it's done a pretty good job of editing that here. Now we might still need to fill in some of this white in the tiger, but you can see how we're getting closer and closer to what we want. This is pretty, pretty cool. Now, as you know, this is version one of what Dolly can do. So I'm envisioning in the future, as this gets better and better, it could just be literally like having a graphic designer on staff as it gets better and better. This is version one, so it's definitely not perfect yet, but it's pretty cool what you can do. Let's try to give it something a little more complex and see what it does. Let's ask it, instead of one tiger, can you, you duplicate it and include more tigers in the drawing? More tiger heads. Let's do more tiger heads in the drawing. Let's see what it does when we ask it that. So without giving it much detail, this is what we got, which in some ways is pretty, pretty cool. So you can see that, you know, it did add more tigers in. They all have blue and yellow fur. They're not necessarily facing the camera, but we still have our white background. This is a pretty cool image. Might not be exactly what I'm looking for, but I could definitely keep going here and keep asking it different things and trying to get closer. And I think this is a much more user-friendly experience than some of the other platforms. I prefer feeling like I'm speaking to someone or actually talking to a graphic designer as I'm going through this process. And it's pretty cool. Imagine if you had a graphic designer that you could get revisions from in a matter of seconds. That's literally what you can do right here in ChatGPT along with Dolly. So I hope you'll use this to your advantage to make a ton of money. It's a pretty cool tool. See you soon.